Hello everybody, meet me again. Today I'm going to show you the tutorial of how to install free BSD version 11. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to download the free BSD ISO uh, on the address www.bsd.org and then uh, you can click the download FreeBSD and you can choose the version okay it is the latest version version 11 uh, you choose the right uh, platform okay we use AMD64 or 64 bit And then you can choose uh, the right ISO. Uh, it's the full ISO. It's DVD one ISO. It's two point seven gigabyte. Uh, it's full of uh, packages. And the light one is the version of this. Uh, the this one ISO only six hundred fifty six megabyte. Just click the ISO and then it will download uh, automatically starting download. After you have finished download, you will have the ISO. Okay. We will install this FreeBSD on virtual machine VMware. If you don't know how to install VMware or you don't uh, already install the VMware, you can see my previous tutorial of how to install VMware on Windows okay the next step is we have to create the virtual machine okay we open the virtual box and then click new and then we choose uh, PSD and which is the right person because we don't the 64 bit person we select the 64 bit version and then we name it. Okay, we name it uh, free PSD 11. Just click next and we have to uh, adjust the memory size. We will give uh, 2 gigabyte and then click next. And then we have to create the virtual disk just click uh, create button uh, and then we choose PDI click next we choose dyna dynamically allocated click next and we have to adjust the size of the hard disk virtual hard disk okay we just say give it uh, 128 gigabyte and then click create okay we have created the uh, virtual machine but have to adjust some setting the machine is still using one core processor we can uh, change it to make faster just give to processor and then the network uh, the default is using net but i want to use the bridge bridge editor okay just click bridge editor and click uh, on the uh, net uh, network interface card that you have okay because my uh, network interface card who connect to internet is the wi-fi so, so i choose the wireless okay just click okay okay we have already uh, create the virtual machine just start the virtual machine click start okay uh, in this dialog we have to choose the iso for the installation just click the browse button and click the free bsd 11 iso and click open and then we have to click the start button 
so it's starting okay we choose one to uh, follow the team okay uh, we choose install and then press enter uh, we just use the default key name for keyboard uh, and then we have to enter the host name as type pbst11 server and then press uh, ok ok we have to select the package we want to install and I think it's enough uh, just press ok button ok we have to create partition just use kvdit for uh, fast creating partition and then we use enter this uh, we'll use GPT if you have larger hard disk, then it's better to use GPT. But if you have uh, less than 4 terabyte hard disk, you can use NVR. Okay, just select the finish and commit. The installation is started. Starting. Okay, you have to wait a few minutes. To help uh, finish the installation, it's starting copying the file, the package. Okay, uh, we have to set the password for root, just enter. Uh, and then we have to configure the network. Okay, I want to use the... Uh, uh, I want to configure the IP version for network. If you want to use the... KHCP just yes, but if you have static IP address, click no, and then we have to enter the IP address. Okay, we have this IP address. to set the default filter and then we press the OK button because I don't use the IP version C just select no ok we have to enter the search uh, IP just I use this and the DNS I use Google. Okay, let's press OK. Then we have to select the region and the time zone. And we have setting the date. Okay, we have to select the service that we have that we want to start it. Uh, the default is the SSHD on done dev. Okay, if you want to use mouse or TVD, you can check with it. Okay, 
and if you want hardening the system you can select this but if you want to uh, do it later just press ok button if you want to add the user click yes if you no just no ok if is already done just press exit Just press no. Okay, we reboot the system. Okay, you have to remove the CG on virtual machine. And then we reset, reset the machine. Just select one. Okay, we have to login. Just type the username, use root, and enter the password. Okay, we have already finished installing the FreeBSD version 11. The next step is we have to update the system. To update the FreeBSD, we have we just uh, type the command a uh, FreeBSD update page and FreeBSD update install. This command is to fetch the update and then after the fetch it will install the update to the system press enter Okay, there is no update because it is the your new release. Okay, thank you for watching my video. See you again on the next tutorial. Bye.